name is Hubert Cho, and I am a senior at Chongqing International Academy. I've always been interested in how things look at the micro scale, and I'm delighted that Park Systems is giving me the opportunity to try out their atomic force microscopes and go even smaller. Uh, yes, I first came across the AFM while looking up uh, topics for a research project, and I was fascinated by the mechanisms and how it functioned. Although the name says microscope, I know that it isn't like a traditional microscope where we look through a lens, but that it scans a surface to create an image. Uh, well, we've been coexisting with the coronavirus for almost two years now, and our first line of defense against it is uh, face masks. I've always wondered what uh, the filter looks like and how it protects us from the virus. Uh, I also have uh, two dogs at home, and I was wondering what their fur would look like compared to our hair, so I did bring uh, a few samples. Um, after researching a bit about the AFM and how it works, I imagined it to be extremely complicated and complex, but now that I see it in person, uh, it looks a lot more simple and elegant, almost, <laughs> than I expected. So this is the FX40 up close, and I just learned about uh, the parts in the scanning process. So we're about to put a real sample up here, and I'm excited to see how the actual scanning process goes. So we have our two samples ready here. One is the dog fur I procured from my house, from my lovely pets. And here we have just a normal KF94 mask ready to be cut. Now that we have the samples in place, I'm going to be picking up uh, one of the chips with the probe hand using the computer here as uh, the top. First, we we'll go to probe. And push this one and probe pick up at. And we can see that the head is starting to move automatically. and it will pick up the chip using the magnetic force. Very gentle. And if you see on the screen here, uh, the camera is now auto-focusing on the cantilever at the end of the chip. There we have it. Uh, the chip is ready to scan. So now we just need to move the <coughs> probe hand over the sample, so move the center like this, and then press go to, and you can see here that the position is now over the sample. see the, um, the mask filter up close with just the optical microscope and uh, it's a lot larger than I expected for us to be able to scan at the nano scale we would have to go much smaller but here we can already see and this is what the filter looks like so it seems uh, there's not much to do by scanning this so surprisingly this is a bit too big to scan with the AFM so I guess we're going to go on to the next sample Finally, I'm going to be trying my hand at nanolithography, which is basically just lithography writing, but on a nano scale. So I'll be writing on this sample here. Let's uh, put this in.
So we finished setting up now and we can see here, this is where we're going to be uh, writing this design. And yes, we can just press the button and start. See the tip is now slowly moving and uh, engraving the design into the sample. the images that I scanned today organized. First we have the dog hair and the human hair. Um, I first brought the dog hair here thinking that um, up close they would look very different but now that I've actually scanned it we can see that um, they actually look pretty similar. And this is the first time I've seen a hair up close and I was pleasantly surprised to see that it's not as smooth as I originally thought it was. We can see the rough layers in between. Secondly here uh, this is a picture of a hard drive. So I was curious how data was written on a metal disc. So we scanned it using a magnetic tip. And here we can see that uh, the data is written differently depending on the position of the hard drive. That was very interesting to see. And finally, uh, we have the lithography design that I did. Uh, we scanned the height here. And here we can see that there's um, no design there. but. When we scan using electrical signals, uh, the design appears very clearly. And that uh, sums up my time here today at Park Systems. Well, this is my first experience with uh, an AFM, so I don't really have any past experiences to compare it to. But uh, the FX40 was surprisingly easy to operate. Um, you know, considering that the mechanisms behind it are very complex, I thought it would be a lot more difficult to handle. But uh, I don't know, because of the simple interface, I think that it was a lot more simple to control. Um, well, the engineers here were very friendly, so they answered any questions that I had, and that with combined with the user-friendly interface, and as you can see here, only the the fundamental parts of the FX40 are visible, so I could see exactly what I was doing while I worked. So that contributed to um, having the FX40 very easy to control. Uh, the lithography was very intriguing. When I first put the design on the screen, I didn't really have an idea of how small that would be, but then I saw the dimensions, which is 50 by 50 micrometers, and I realized that that is about the width of a strand of hair. and Seeing the device uh, writing the design into the sample, I was very surprised by how precise the technology that we have can be. <laughs> I had a great time here today. I learned so much about the nano world and I truly want to thank Park Systems for having me here today. Thank you.